The philosophy of defense drastically changed in the mid-20th century as the Cold War altered the way many nations chose to protect themselves. As the modern world saw the development and advancement of nuclear weapons, long-range delivery systems, and satellite capabilities, one thing became clear. Citizens could no longer find safety in ground-based defenses alone. At the height of the Cold War, in the late 1950s, the idea of a hardened command and control center was conceptualized as a defense against long-range Soviet bombers. By February 1961, construction plans were underway to establish an underground military facility as the United States and Canada partnered to ensure that a reliable and survivable missile attack warning and air defense system was in place to protect the citizens of North America. The U.S. and Canada worked together to create an unprecedented underground fortress the modern world had not yet seen. The Cheyenne Mountain facility became fully operational as the North American Air Defense Command's Combat Operations Center on April 20, 1966. Known today as Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Station, this Air Force Base Command installation provides unique protection in fighting a different kind of threat, making it one of the most remarkable installations in the world. Housed 2,000 feet inside granite reinforcement, an impressive 15 buildings comprise the complex, making no contact with the granite walls that protect them. Covering more than five acres, the agencies inside work to stay one step ahead of cyber and space capabilities. Among the many protective attributes of the mountain is the defense it provides against electromagnetic pulse radiation with the help of specially designed EMP features. These defenses make Cheyenne Mountain the only DOD high-altitude EMP certified underground facility able to withstand a nuclear blast shockwave and continue operations. Though Cheyenne Mountain has often been synonymous with NORAD and its associated command operations center, Cheyenne Mountain has actually never been the NORAD headquarters. Often fictionalized and exaggerated in movies and on television, Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Station quietly maintains a variety of important missions critical to the nation's defense. Today, more than 500 men and women from the U.S. Armed Forces, Department of Defense civilians, contractors, and Canadian forces make up the staff at Cheyenne Mountain and support a 24-hour, 365-day mission. Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Station is the main correspondence center for the Integrated Tactical Warning and Attack Assessment System. The ITWA mission is threefold, missile warning, space control, and air defense. Providing unsurpassed technical support, defense, and survivability of the premier underground command, the 721st Mission Support Group conducts daily operations in support of national strategic missions. Under this group fall several support functions of the mountain. The 721st Communication Squadron operates Air Force Space Command's Global Strategic Warning and Space Surveillance System Center, which is responsible for the ITWA computers and communication systems that support NORAD, U.S. STRATCOM, U.S. NORTHCOM, the President of the United States, the Secretary of Defense, and Strategic and Theater Commanders. Cheyenne Mountain is protected by the men and women of the 721st Security Forces Squadron, who manage Cheyenne Mountain's information and industrial security programs. These security force defenders also maintain an air-based defense mission committed to worldwide deployment in support of overseas contingency operations. The Civil Engineer Division, working under the 721st Mission Support Group, operates and maintains the facility and utility infrastructure designated to sustain the ITWA system. The Civil Engineer Division maintains a 99.999% operational reliability rate. Their operation and maintenance of blast, shock, 
nuclear, biological, and chemical protection systems is an integral part of the mountain's mission and the survivability of the nation's premier underground command center. The ITWA mission is also dependent on the 721st Mission Support Group's Test Control Division. This division directs and controls the safe test and exercise configurations for the system and is responsible for safeguarding the integrity of the ITWA mission. For over 30 years, Test Control has successfully configured the computers and data communication systems of a worldwide network of sensor sites, Cheyenne Mountain, and strategic users of this data in both Canada and the United States. In 2006, NORAD U.S. NORTHCOM Commander directed the establishment of a NORAD U.S. NORTHCOM Command Center in his headquarters on Peterson Air Force Base. In lieu of manning standing watch positions in Cheyenne Mountain, these positions are manned on Peterson Air Force Base. However, Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Station still serves as NORAD and U.S. NORTHCOM's alternate command center and is a training site for crew qualification. The crew of Joint Functional Component Command for Space, headquartered at Vandenberg Air Force Base, California, operates the Missile Warning Center at Cheyenne Mountain 365 days a year to provide human confirmation of missile warning information from sensor sites and processing facilities. The Space Missile Warning Center crew obtains satellite and ground radar electronic information from a global network of space systems. Comprised of airmen, sailors, soldiers, and Marines, the center's crew provides strategic and theater missile warning information which supports NORAD, U.S. NORTHCOM, and other combatant commanders. The information collected is used to assess possible attacks on North America in addition to ensuring geographical combatant commanders receive timely notification to protect forward deployed personnel. <laughs> 17th Test Squadron, Detachment 2 at Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Station conducts operational test and evaluation to appraise the capability of air, missile and space attack detection systems. DET-2 verifies operational effectiveness and suitability of ITWA systems to provide data to senior leadership for system acceptance and certification decisions. The Defense Intelligence Agency's Western Continental U.S. Regional Service Center operates as one of the five worldwide DOD Intelligence Information Systems Enterprise Service Centers. Additionally, the Air Force Technical Application Center operates a scientific research facility within Cheyenne Mountain to conduct research which cannot be conducted in an above-ground laboratory. This facility capitalizes on Cheyenne Mountain's unique granite structure to provide the natural shielding from cosmic radiation necessary to perform low-level radiological analysis research. The men and women of Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Station execute and maintain a daily mission that sets a standard of excellence through integrated technologies. Born from necessity during the Cold War, Cheyenne Mountain has been upgraded by the demand of ever-advancing technology and is sustained through a partnership of common national interest. The unique missions housed inside this modern marvel serve to protect North America and its allies and remains ever ready, reliable and relevant. <laughs>